Southpaw opened this weekend to $16 million domestically. And while that may not come anywhere close to other blockbuster summer movies like Jurassic World or Inside Out, how much a movie grosses doesn't matter when it comes to Oscar season. If you look at past Best Picture nominees, a good amount of them haven't made huge splashes at the box office. Boyhood, The Theory of Everything, and The Grand Budapest Hotel all performed decently well in U.S. theaters. Even last year's winner, Birdman, grossed $42 million domestically. In comparison, some project Southpaw will bring in a $50 to $55 million domestic haul. The one thing that could hold the movie back from an award nod are the mixed reviews. Audiences love the film, giving it an A cinema score. But it didn't win over critics, who gave the film an average rating of 58% on Rotten Tomatoes. Those reviews could nullify the chances of a Best Picture nod, but Jake Gyllenhaal could still get a nomination for Best Actor. That's because of the praise Gyllenhaal's received for his ability to physically transform for his roles. Last year, Gyllenhaal was snubbed for his incredibly creepy performance in Nightcrawler, where he lost 30 pounds to become an intense crime journalist who would do anything for a story. He then trained against real fighters and gained some weight, including 15 pounds of muscle for Southpaw. The Weinstein Company is distributing Gyllenhaal's most recent film, and we can guarantee Harvey Weinstein won't let Academy voters forget about the Nightcrawler Oscar snub this time around. That's likely because in the past, we've seen actors awarded for extreme physical transformations. Look at Matthew McConaughey in Dallas Buyers Club or Eddie Redmayne's portrayal of Stephen Hawking in The Theory of Everything. Philip Seymour Hoffman was also rewarded for his five-month transition into Truman Capote for the 2005 film Capote, as was Daniel Day-Lewis for his role as the famous president in Lincoln. It's not to say Gyllenhaal will win the Best Actor category this year, but many believe his recognition is overdue. He hasn't been nominated for an Oscar since the Best Supporting Actor nom in 2006 for Brokeback Mountain. And he also would likely go up against some competition, including reigning Best Actor Eddie Redmayne in the upcoming The Danish Girl, where he plays the first male to have female gender reassignment surgery. Other early Oscar buzz includes another actor who is characteristically snubbed from Oscar wins. His lead role in January's The Revenant might very well earn him yet another nomination. For Newsy, I'm Lexi Hammersfar.